Human beings are social animals. How did we become social in the first place? As a species, we have the ability to foresee and imagine realities, hence understand cause and effect. We realized early on that we need each other for food and security to live, and the herd instinct was born. It may have been a gradual process, evolving from couples to clans to large communities. We needed to connect to people to survive. This drive to belong is what we can call the empathetic drive. This connection also brings us happiness. Bonding with another has said to bring us more satisfaction than money and material. Bonding is so good for us that one's life expectancy increases when they marry. But the death of a spouse often leads to despair and a reduced will to live. So we can say we are a naturally empathetic species. But what is empathy? Empathy is the ability to feel and understand what another is feeling. Empathy and concern can lead to a more inclusive society and hence reduce tension within a group of people. However, some argue that empathy is in fact harmful, that it is solely based on assumptions and a lack of foresight, that it leads to action that brings one immediate satisfaction while failing to see the bigger picture. For example, seeing the oppressed suffering leads to war to free them which in turn ruins more lives. So why not just be systemizers? People whose actions produce the most efficient and optimum results, who don't let emotions come in the way. This isn't really possible. We are emotional beings and are bound to express our emotions. And we're not entirely pre-programmed to deal with novel situations. Morality is a set of rules we live by. These rules are framed upon our empathy. Once we see someone in pain, we feel their pain. We help this person to relieve them of their pain and in the process we help ourselves. Out of this a moral is born. Always help someone in need. And the moral is passed on to your offspring. Do you see the problem here? Morality is the issue. It stops you from behaving on a case-to-case -case basis. Instead, you should experience every situation and behave accordingly. So what we suggest is informed empathy. Changing from a subconscious empathizer to a conscious one. If more people had informed empathy today, we'd see a world with better conversation and coexistence. Empathy is closely related to the information at hand and one's emotional capacity. How much you empathize is the result of how you handle both. Given any situation, it is an iterative process of how much information you have or don't have, how you can gain more and how it connects to create possibilities. Your emotional capacity allows you to express and feel emotion. Empathy allows you to ask and listen for the right information and gives one insight into how to intervene. Empathy is not monolinear. Instead, it is a balance of these factors and it can vary from situation to situation. So the next time, ask for more information, express what you feel, imagine all possibilities, observe for data around you, and stay as unbiased as possible. The end.